Hi. Every year, I dread winter. I don't like the lack of sunlight. I don't like being stuck inside for months on end. And because I live in a very small space, we have 500 square feet. After just a couple of weeks with really cold weather, sometimes I end up feeling sort of trapped. Especially with the pandemic, it's been challenging these past couple of years to really enjoy wintertime. And when you start getting glimpses of spring, it's like this weight is lifted and you're able to really start going out and enjoying things again. So allergies aside, I do really love spring. And ironically, knowing spring is just around the corner allows me to enjoy some of the tail end of winter activities that I had been avoiding for months. Some of those activities and experiences I'm alluding to, we have bonfires, lights on trees, and cool sunsets. Hello! Enjoying our time out by the bonfire on the wharf. Um, with the sunset in the background and a crying baby to serenade us. Yeah, now we're gonna go home. Somehow I'm always reminded of Flintstone vitamins when I see these types of spring and fall sunsets. Am I special just because I see the fleeting and ephemeral beauty of planet Earth reflected back to me in an everyday item, such as Flintstone's complete chewable multivitamin that provides a wide range of nutrients to help support immune and bone health? <laughs> Look, I don't know about that. I'm just an ordinary person, but I can tell you this. Sometimes we have to search for beauty in the ordinary things. Anyway, we had something a little more exciting planned for the next day. Starting off with a delicious bowl of ramen and cha siu. This was mind-boggling. I had no idea how to cook that. Or saute. After that, we took the water taxi to Alexandria, which is really fun, but real expensive. On the boat trip, we got to discover things about ourselves that we'd never even thought about before. Like this conversation that we got to have about Tanger versus Tanger outlets. I didn't know that my own husband was a Tanger person. Maybe he's right. Maybe it's not Tanger, but that's how I say it. And this was like the time we found out that one of us said Cinnabon and the other said Cinnabon. I'm not going to divulge which one of us said what, because that would be really embarrassing for my husband, but I couldn't help being reminded of that instance. Tanger outlets. Tanger outlets. Say Tanger. Yeah, I've they heard, do. I've heard, I've heard both. Yeah. Baltimore has it going for it's like all these boats. They have like a whole bunch of boats in there. It's the only U.S. city that I know of that have like all those boats as museums. I'll give a brief overview of the Torpedo Factory because I think it's pretty cool. This is a building in Alexandria. They used it in World War II to produce torpedoes for aircraft and submarines. After the end of World War II, it was government storage for things such as congressional documents, artifacts from the Smithsonian, and trial records. Anyway, there's a lot of art that's housed there now. It's very cool. Oh, there's a festival. Oh, nice! <laughs> We make it. Uh, I bet we miss this farmer's market too. But uh, I mean, you bet, yeah. <laughs> it's like 12, two in the so, afternoon. Yeah, we're, best, <laughs> we're just best at by three hours. <laughs> Hanging out in Alexandria, looking at some different stuff. We can go to Sir Latab because it's just a basic place that speaks to our hearts. Um, Ooh, nice. 
Right. Old Welch Banker. Yeah, called Old Banker. What is it? It's just a, I don't know. A realtor? Oh, it's not a bank. I, I don't know. It's an odd last name. That's not a realtor. It's probably just a realtor. It's like the nicest Taco Bell that we've ever seen. Always pay attention to it here. Custom ink. Is it a t-shirt store or is it a tattoo place? Oh. Sounds like a tattoo place, but... Uh, but I think it's a tattoo store. What if we actually see it? It's like <laughs> It's like always sunny during the promo. Are people dancing? Yeah, there's some kids doing river dance. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's really fun. <laughs> no, it just heats. It, it heat up your nuts. <laughs> Put it here, and then you just keep eating your nuts. What? I've never even heard up. of Look, that. Like having a warm warm nut. nut? Yeah. It's maruka. I mean, it's Japanese. Wow. Peanut warmer. That's it. Wow. <laughs> you want a sober pizza cutter? Ooh. I do like that. Now it was time to make our way over to the highlight of the day, which was trying some Kung Fu tea. We went to ESP Tea and Coffee in Alexandria on King Street. The day park. It's like an interesting wall of money behind you. All right. We can take our uh, Nathan money here. In just a minute, our server is going to come over and give a brief rundown of the process for drinking this tea. Excited? Let, me, let me explain what's going on later. I'm going to yeah. explain now. So in Hong Kong, so this is, how to explain it? It's an area called Chiu Xin or Chiu Zhao. That's how they like prepare tea in that area. So the whole ceremony, I think that, I guess that's what it means outside of that area, but in Hong Kong, all the tea that is brewed in that way, from that area, is called Gong Bo It doesn't have to have the ceremony, but here it means the ceremony. There we go. Yeah. And here is the more water right here, whenever you need it. Right. Thank you so right. much. Go just a little bit of sure, what I've done beforehand okay. is I put it in the water and let it uh, clean it out for about a uh, minute. It's right now in here, steeping for uh, the next few minutes. And you could do this first two, three, or four more steepings. Okay. And then if you want more steepings, we have more hot water there. Okay. Uh, okay. This is kind of just for rinsing. Yes, we're rinsing so the water okay. in the original. Okay? Thank Great. you. Thank you, guys. Can you eat the date bar? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there's like a... It's like if in Hong Kong we call... Okay. Drip coffee. I order drip coffee. I just get drip coffee in the cup and they give it to me. And I come here and I order for drip coffee. It's like, oh, you can get any kind of coffee. They just put it in the in the drip and you have to do the dripping. Yeah. It's different. So I'm not used to this. Okay. I thought it's gonna. I think this is just any kind of tea. But I, I don't know if it's gonna taste different. Okay. We'll find out. I watched with bated breath to see what Yao's reaction was gonna be. I was absolutely ecstatic to find out what he thought. I could barely contain myself. First thoughts? It's like regular tea, it's not yeah. the kind. But okay. I didn't know the kind. Yeah. That looks good. Now it was my turn to try the tea. My heart was racing, my hands, they were shaking, but I just did it. Nice. Kind of grassy, kind of floral. It's just poor tea, regular, yeah. normal tea. Yeah. Yeah. Things steeped at a hot enough temperature that I'm used to. It's not hot enough. Yeah, but it's like it's nicer, but it's not as, not the bitter taste that I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. Even though I'm not an expert on tea, I have consumed a fair amount of tea in my life. 
so I believe that I'm qualified to say that this tea was pretty good. I would try this tea again. Is that a guy who's in the play on my concubine? Yeah. The, guy the ripped guy. Because one of them is about Zhu yeah. Doliang. Uh, volunteering and about how he's like summoning the wind and stuff. Right. So it's about Zhu Doliang. So it's about Takeshi and Tony. Big boy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't just have a big boy. Outside of like this random. What? That is weird. We didn't go into this shop, but it seems like a good place for some yarns and thread type items. Overall, we had a pretty fun day and I was grateful to be out of the house. I could even feel some of those winter blues melting away. Anyway, it was time to head home, so we boarded the train and said goodbye to Alexandria for now. They say that eggs are a sign of spring, and I'm not sure that it was coincidence that led us to this moment on the platform. I think that the universe was trying to tell me something. Whether you believe in fate or coincidences, in my heart and on the calendar, I think spring has arrived. Do you love spring? Do you hate spring? Do you like trains? Do you hate trains? Sound off in the comments below. If you stuck around for this whole video, thanks for putting up with me. And see you guys next time.